Powered by Virginia. Radio. All right, folks, thank y'all for coming. And listen, this is Big Al. I'm with, sitting here at, at Bar Louis. And we are, we are invited by the Office of Youth and Young Adult Opportunities, and we thank them for the invite. And what they're doing in, and what we're participating in is the City of Hampton Violence Prevention Community Awareness Week, uh, which is fantastic. This is the, we're, we're midweek right now. We've got a couple more days to go, okay? But right now we're at Bar Louis, and uh, I'm talking to another uh, community hero of the 757, and his name Vern, Vern Watkins. Uh, Vern, Vern, you didn't put your name down, bro. My bad. My bad. I was more focused on the title. <laughs> you know, all right. And Vern Watkins. Hey, Vern, thanks for coming by. I appreciate Thank it, man. You. I appreciate and again, this is my name is Big Al. And Vern, uh, tell me who you are. Tell me what you do. Okay, cool, man. So, like I said, Vern Watkins, um, I'm the mortgage community liaison for um, Truist Bank uh, for the whole entire Hampton Roads. I'm also a business owner. Um, me and my mother own a bakery that's soon to be open off of West Mercury. Right across Ooh. from Tommy's Restaurant. Right across from Tommy's? Yeah, right across from Tommy's. We had, we had, it's all about location. Oh. You, know, you, know, you know what that means? That means he's real close to where I live. Oh, really? So really? I, may, I may have to swing, oh, yeah, have to swing by there, man. I better give you a couple coupons, man. <laughs> <laughs> Spread it out a little bit. All right. Yeah, yeah. When are you guys going to open? Uh, so we're going to go in stages. You know, in three weeks, we're going to open up um, the website where people can order the whole full menu. Okay. Had to be by order, and then about three weeks after that, it'll be a soft opening, and then we'll have a whole grand opening, ribbon cutting, and everything. Now don't tell me you're a baker. Oh no, you you want me in? The, <laughs> you don't want me in the kitchen, man. <laughs> yeah. hey, I stick listen. to the business part. Yeah. And listen, if you ever want that to be, if you ever want, you, if you want us to want us to live stream it, we can power, we can live stream that for you, man. Film it for you. Absolutely. So you can for I don't have to get involved. I'm good. No yeah. problem, man. Just yeah. let, I won't embarrass I'm give, myself. I'm gonna give you my car. You just let me know. Absolutely. Okay. But listen, so uh, at, now you're of Truist Bank, okay, yes, and you said you're the uh, the mortgage community liaison. Mortgage community liaison. Now, why do we need a mortgage community liaison? Because um, so Truist has an incentive to involve it, to, to get deep into the community. So okay. to make it more, it's not just about mortgages. It's more of a deeper impact. It's more of a deeper impact. So I'm incentivized to get out into the community and actually talk and, and impact people's lives because. It's about the long game, to be honest with you. It's more about okay. let's create relationships so then it could be long standing. Because if you have a positive relationship with your bank, are you going to leave? Well, that's that's true. And, and <laughs> true is more of a, is it more of a regional bank? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and guys, just so you know, the regional banks are a lot of times a lot more friendly, mm -hmm. a lot more willing, okay, to work with you. Yeah. Uh, than some of the bigger ones. I don't want to mention any names, yeah. Wells Fargo, <laughs> yeah. but uh, Bank so, of America. So the crazy thing about Truist. Um, they're the, the, the number six largest bank in the um, in the nation, but their their focus is on regional. They, their focus okay. is trying to get into the community because, like I said, you get deep with the community. That's where that's where the money is. That's you true. Know? That's true. And, you know, and uh, now and and as far as as far as truth is concerned, you you so do do you go out to the community or or, or do they come to you or how does that work? I, I go to the community. I. I, I um, uh, sponsor, I uh, volunteer, I do whatever it, whatever it takes. You know, okay. Whatever it takes. Okay. You know. Now, now you said you opened up a business with your mother, of course. Yeah. Okay. But I'm assuming that you would like more businesses to follow suit, come the truest. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. You know, and, and how do you, and how do you encourage people to do that? Because you know a lot of now, now and, and, and I can say this because hey, I'm a black man. A lot of black folks are scared to invest in businesses. Absolutely. So how do you how do you Work through, work them, work, work them through, or work us through that fear. Simple um, education, just okay. uh, communication. Well, through my whole life, we've always had the mindset of it had to be something, something special. And really, what the, what the real impact is is having that one-to-one -one connection. That's why the events. That's why just speaking and having that one-to-one -one connection with uh, multiple people. That's that's what separates, and that's why they put so much incentive in right. putting me in the community because you can't. Nothing else you can do about it, you know. You can't you get sent somewhere a text and say, "Hey, come to Truist." It's gonna sound like any other, any other, anything else, you know. So it's all about having that one-on-one -on -one connection and being genuine. Yeah, I mean, and, I, and folks, I, I love this because this is the kind of information that we need. Okay, and uh, we we have you know, 
and we have Chewis. That there, that there may be others doing the same thing, but they're not here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They're not here. And that's what he was talking about. He said, I, I just go everywhere. Yep. You know, so he's here, yep. you know, and he, we're putting him on camera there. Okay. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's live streaming right now to YouTube. We're live, so, baby. you know, so, so, uh, so we certainly appreciate it, man. We appreciate it. By the way, if you have any advice for any, anyone that wants to, wants to invest, any advice for anyone that's choosing a bank, any, uh, what kind of advice, what's the best advice you can give to someone financially? Do your research and don't be afraid to actually go out and talk to different banks. Go to one bank, have a conversation with them because they're all trying to fish for your attention. They're all trying to fish for your account. Go in, get their brochure, get their information, go to the next one. Can't be lazy about it. There's no dodging it. You can't be lazy about it. You got to be intentional about what you want in life. And even, and even if they say no, you're still picking up yep. experience and knowing, mm -hmm. okay, this is what they're looking for, et cetera. These are the questions they ask mm -hmm. me. When you go to the next one, you're going to do a little bit better, mm -hmm. you know, et cetera. So I, I, yeah. I get what you're saying. Absolutely. I get what you're saying, yeah. you know. And listen, and man, I got, and Vernon, I'm going to give you my card. I'm, I'm, I hope so. If you got a card, man, give me, give me that so we can exchange it. Because like I said, here at Power by Virginia, we, but we, we want to do a financial literacy course. I'm there. You know, so uh, uh, you'll be the perfect guy to show us how to do that, man. So listen, uh, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it, man. And listen, uh, here's my card. Let me give that to you right now. Before you forget. There we go. There you go. Well, appreciate before it. Before I forget, you. you're right. This is my wallet. I got you. <laughs> hey, man, the these sinuses are killing me, man. I was like, ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, thank you so much, Vernon. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. I appreciate All righty. It. And have a great one. Powered by Virginia. Radio. Radio.